talk about a revolutionary idea, in a few moments I'll introduce you to Zach Exley, one of the driving forces behind brand new Congress. They want to replace every member of Congress with a fresh face, not beholden to corporations and lobbyists. But first, let's meet one of those faces, a pastor from Arkansas. I'm the kind of person that believes in big ideas that are daring enough that they just might work. And this is one of those kind of big ideas. Rob Rice's latest big idea is running for Congress in Arkansas. The father of four says it all started with a podcast. I first learned about Brand New Congress uh, when my wife listened to Zach Exley make an appearance on Rob Bell's podcast. And she held out her phone to me and said, you've got to hear this. You've got to do this. I think I expected him to listen to it and maybe come up with reasons why he couldn't or he shouldn't. And I was really excited when he didn't do that. One day I was sitting on my back porch talking with a friend and, uh, and my phone rang and it was someone who said, hey, I'm from brand new Congress and you've been nominated to run for Congress. Would you be interested? He was interested, even though it meant running against the man he previously voted for, Congressman Steve Womack. Arkansas's third congressional district is a, uh, it's a bright red district. It's very likely that, that come November 2018, um, a Republican is going to be the representative from this district. So the primary in, in May of next year is really important. I'm sharing with the Rob Ryersey campaign. Even though they're both running as Republicans, Rob Ryersey says his campaign will be different from Congressman Womack's. One of the biggest differences is Ryacy's promise to not accept corporate PAC money. One of the problems in, in our system currently is that so many of our leaders, Congressman Womack being one of them, are bought and paid for by their corporate donors. One corporation linked to Congressman Womack is Walmart. The company's home office is located in Arkansas's 3rd District. According to the Center for Responsive Politics, Congressman Womack received over $160,000 from Walmart's PAC and the company's employees. The congressman wouldn't comment, but a Walmart spokesman told us, quote, Walpack most often supports elected officials who support initiatives and policies that are important to our customers, associates, and our business. As for Ryacy, can a first-time candidate with no political experience actually do the job? Certainly, um, people that, that understand how the system works can, can get stuff done. The problem is, is that the system has been working for the people in power rather than everyday Americans. The experience that I'll bring to this job is someone who listens and cares and understands and will help work for solutions that will actually make a difference in people's lives. That's the kind of experience that, that I think we need in our elected officials. For full disclosure, one of the tech platforms Rob Ricey is using as a candidate is my startup, Crowdpack. Now, with me now, former Bernie Sanders advisor for national grassroots organizing and one of the founding members of Brand New Congress, Zach Exley. Zach, uh, you were involved very, very deeply in, in Bernie Sanders' campaign. Um, what, what was it about that experience in the last couple of years that persuaded you to start this incredibly ambitious um, movement, really, to, to try and literally replace, at one point you were saying, all the members of yeah, Congress. Yeah, basically all. new people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it came from seeing what was possible on the Bernie campaign. There was millions of volunteers uh, getting organized on their own all over the country, and yet doing it in a really well-organized way, uh, using technology, you know, using all kinds of new uh, new things that uh, didn't even exist a few years ago. Uh, but, you know, also I had been around presidential campaigns, around Obama's campaign, uh, Kerry's campaign, and, uh, and Howard Dean's campaign, you know, way back was one of the first big grassroots internet powered campaigns. And so this is something that there's a new kind of politics. There's something new in our political system. And, and people are only uh, beginning to understand what it is. And, and what it is, is it's the ability to put an idea out there for the American people and say, if you would like me to do this, it's really easy with a presidential campaign because you're saying, make me president, mm -hmm. then donate to my campaign, sign up to volunteer, and we'll get you involved and we'll build an organization in the next few weeks, in the next few months, uh, to do something amazing all over the country. That's possible now. Nobody has yet tried that with Congress. And so going around with the Bernie campaign, what all the volunteers, and you know, there were a lot of uh, independents and a lot of Republicans uh, participating in the Bernie campaign. And they said, 
fine, when we elect Bernie, what about Congress? He's not going to be able to get anything done. And look at Trump. Trump can't get anything done with his own party, right, <laughs> controlling Congress. So they said, can't we use what we're doing here to throw the bums out? And we said yes. But is this, is this just trying to get Bernie Sanders supportors into Congress? You brought no. that, right? It's nonpartisan. Yeah, no, right? yeah, absolutely not, yeah. So the crazy, I mean, I, I say crazy. Everybody always yells at me when I say this is a crazy idea. Um, but the, 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 the part of this idea that kind of makes a lot of people's heads explode is that we're talking about running Democrats in Democratic districts and Republicans in Republican districts. And, and here's the problem, right? It's not about, our problem is, is not Republicans versus Democrats. It's not that uh, you know, Republicans don't have any ideas and Democrats don't have any ideas. The problem is that the entire establishment, and I, mm -hmm. I mean, this is what your show is all about, it, they have no idea what's going on in America. They're totally out of touch. The, the situation we're in is that we're in a burning house. The house is burning down all around us, right? The Democrat solution is to turn on the air conditioning. The Republican solution is to turn off the heat. They have no idea <laughs> what is going on. And, and so, and as long as they're sticking to those solutions, they're gonna get, you know, they just got Trump. They almost got Bernie. They got Trump. So you, is, is, this, is the idea here really to, would, would it be uh, accurate to say this is really about electing populists? It's absolutely about of electing populists. Parties. Yes, and I, and I love your phrase, po positive populism. I really like that. Um, the thing is, we're not on this political spectrum of air conditioning versus heat, right? We are the fire department, and we got to put out the fire. Our candidates are honest hardworking people who've built stuff. They're not people like me. They're not loudmouth activists. I, I, I won't run. I don't deserve to represent a district. What mm -hmm. have I built? Uh, our candidates are people that have built stuff, that have educated hundreds of children, that have you know, cured thousands of patients, uh, workers who are the people who take care of their workplaces, take care of their coworkers. Um, those people, we're putting those people in Congress. They're the fire department, so, and then we got to rebuild the house. So look, one of the things that I've, one of the points I've made on the show is that, is, as you said, that one of the problems for President Trump is that he doesn't have a populist movement in Congress to enact his populist agenda. Are you saying right. that, that Trump supporters watching this show tonight who want to help President Trump should actually join forces with you a former Bernie Sanders organizer and run for Congress as part of brand new Congress. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest. If you, uh, if the reason you voted for Trump was to deport 12 million people, uh, you know, then you're not going to like brand new Congress. But if you want to rebuild America's means of making a living, if that's why you voted for Trump, because that's what Trump talked about, the media didn't cover it, but that was in his stump speech every single time he spoke to a stadium. And if you want to rebuild the American economy, uh, and if you think that the way the Democrats talk about that, about doing that, which is to just sprinkle money into people's pockets, or if you think that the Republican solution is stupid, which is just the same thing but opposite, which is let's just cut taxes, neither of those solutions are going to fix our economy. We actually well, need I, to build. I we totally need to rebuild the economy. So then, then, so viewers should join. They should go to, well, first they should go to okay, Rob do the plug, 2018. We'll, we'll, we'll yes, talk, we've you. got some more time to talk about okay, it. Okay, good. Just do, the, do, the, do the plug quickly. Well, you've got to go to Rob2018 uh, with two Bs, Rob with two Bs, 2018.com, Rob2018.com, and just email uh, Rob at join at uh, Rob2018.com. Brilliant. We've got to leave it there for the moment.